there's gonna be a lot of TikTok references in this video, so um, if you're not on TikTok, uh, these are my ladies. <laughs> 10 out of 10. A baby brother win. Hey guys, it's Cara, aka The Pretty Little Lawyer, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by, and if this is not your first time here, thank you so, so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about some of the easiest houseplants you can use to decorate your home. So during the pandemic, a lot of us had a desire for living things in our home. Some people had children, some people bought puppies. Um, I'm a little more low maintenance, <laughs> so I just decided to fill my house with a thousand plants. And um, what that taught me was that plant care is not as easy as you may think. And I've learned some of the plants that I have are a little more temperamental than others. I tried to stay away from plants that people said were temperamental and I bought plants that people said were easy. But having had most of my plants for over a year now and some of them um, I've had for a very long time, uh, I can say for sure that these four plants I'm gonna recommend to you today are the easiest house plants you can purchase for sure guaranteed <laughs> so i'm going to start with my oldest baby and work my way to my newest plant this is shorty i have had shorty since 2017 this is my oldest plant she has been with me in several apartments several homes um and she just thrives pretty much everywhere she is so super low maintenance um almost to the point that she's high maintenance <laughs> so if i start to water her too often or treat her like my other plants she's like mm, you're being very needy and i can't take it like can you please back off so she likes to be watered not even on a schedule like i look at her i notice she's dry and then i go an extra like week or two before i will water her um she did have some root rot last year because i was you know i have an anxious attachment style so i was giving her lots of loving care and she was like not feeling it at all um <laughs> so she did have some root rot earlier this year but we have taken care of that problem and now she is flourishing she's got about five babies popping in so shorty is doing well shorty is a snake plant um I, I know there's different versions of the snake plant but i don't know what version she is um she's a snake plant and these are some of the easiest plants to care for on earth um all she needs is sunlight so i had her in my bedroom for a while but i moved her into the office because it gets so much more sunlight um, and she's doing so much better in here. We haven't had any root rot issues since I changed the watering schedule to basically non-existent and I moved her into my office to get more sunlight. So easy peasy. This is a nephew. He's my firstborn son. Um, he is a Monstera. I got him on the same day as my mom got a Monstera. She named hers Nisi. Nisi has exploded. But nephew has done quite well, especially with me as a plant mom. <laughs> so my mom has an absolute green thumb and I have a black thumb. <laughs> so the fact that nephew is doing so well proves my point that he is one of the easiest house plants to maintain. I do water him um, when I notice that the soil is dry. So I don't really have a watering schedule for my plants. I kind of look at the soil and see if it's dry and then I'll stick my finger in. And if it's dry up to like the middle of my index finger, then I will water the plants. That's kind of my method. I don't have like a once a week schedule because um, I was killing my plants. <laughs> So I found that that method works well for watering them and then also nephew every once in a while gets a shower which he loves. Um, he also loves sunlight so I recently actually moved him from the office into the guest room which has a little bit less sunlight so we'll see how he does in there. I have noticed that when I move him he doesn't really there's no dying, he just gets kind of dormant if he's not unhappy. So none of the leaves really die or turn brown or fall off. 
um, but if he's unhappy he will just get dormant so that is also something I love about this plant is that you know it's a good boost for your confidence because even if you're doing something wrong he doesn't just you know I have plants that will fall out and have a conniption if you move them two inches to the left so I really love this plant um, just for the ease of being able to move it around which is an excellent element if you're looking for a plant for decorating because if you're moving your furniture around you want something that's going to work easily with that so 10 out of 10 would recommend so next we have zaddy this is my zz plant I got Zaddy for the entryway in my home because it is a very low light environment and ZZ plants do really well in low light situations. So I was planning to get a faux plant for the entryway, but one of my friends recommended that I get a ZZ. Um, Zaddy was doing fine down there. He also is um, one of the plants that will go dormant if they're unhappy. He didn't die, but I could tell like he wasn't growing, nothing was happening. The leaves were green-ish, but not as bright as they could be. So I actually moved Zaddy into my bedroom when I moved Shorty into the office. So another thing about these plants, I know I talked about it with Nephew, is that they're great to be moved around. Um, a lot of plants don't like to be moved. so. That was a good thing and I've noticed his leaves are a lot greener. Zaddy also got a bath today and a leaf shine so he's very happy. Everybody got you know some treatment for their YouTube debut um, so Zaddy's looking great today. Um, yeah these planters I will link below. I got them from Overstock. The one that Nephew's in I got from Home Goods, so I won't be able to link that one but um, I love them because I have a lot of I bought a lot of my plants small, so I didn't want to pay a million dollars for a very large plant that I might possibly kill. <laughs> so I started with most of my plants as little babies and they've grown amazing over the past year. But one of the tips that I would say if you're going to use smaller plants is to get plant uh, planters with stands so that they can take up more space in the room without you having to, you know, get an extra large plant or spend $200 on a tree <laughs> that you might kill. And finally, uh, the last plant that I have acquired, I actually was gifted this plant from my grandmother. Um, the grandmother of this plant is massive. I mean, so I've had this plant since the summer and already, you know, she's just doing amazing this is a pothos um i don't know what type of pothos it is um, my grandmother has two different types in her house and so in this pot i just have one but in the other pot i was able to put both types together so that's a good thing to know about pothos you can plant them together um, this one usually is hanging out on the refrigerator. This is old girl. The other one, her name is Little Miss Lady because I propagated this plant. So even as a beginner, this is one of the easiest plants to propagate. And I'll probably do a video on how to do that. But when you buy a little plant and it's doing great, you take up a piece and you propagate. You make another plant. A baby brother plan. <laughs> I love TikTok. Um, obviously, it has me in a chokehold. So, um, I really wanted to try propagating. I knew that this plant would survive it. <laughs> I knew because I had received a cutting and it had done so well that I could probably do a cutting and figure it out. So, if you're someone who's looking at being a long term plant parent and you want to learn and try things with your plants, pothos are great for that because I mean, I really think this thing could survive anything. I've also moved old girl around quite a bit originally she was in my little nook in the living room then she was in my bathroom window and now she is hanging on the refrigerator and she is flourishing she flourishes pretty much anywhere she goes so I love that for her I will try to link this planter I got it from Target um, six to eight months ago so it may no longer be there but if it is I'll try to link it below um, but yeah those are my plant babies and um, they make me extremely happy. They bring so much life to my home. 
and they're great for decorating. They do require some care, but these are some of the most low maintenance plants you could probably find on the market. Um, I water Old Girl when she gets dry. Um, the thing about having her up on the refrigerator is that I do have to pull her down and check. Um, and I've pulled her down a couple of times and she's been like bone dry. So I do forget to water my plants. Like I have said, I can kill plants. <laughs> um, so the fact that I can pull her down and she'd be bone dry and from the leaves you would never be able to tell that looks like she's still flourishing is one of my favorite things about her like she's not dramatic at all um so those are my top four house plants let me know if you guys want a video of my more dramatic house plants <laughs> down below I do have one that is currently dying uh, that I'm bringing back from the brink. I have one that when I received as a cutting was near death and I brought it back from the brink. And I have another one that currently is doing okay. Everyone I know that has that plant has killed it. So the fact that mine has survived almost two years, um, yeah. So let me know if you guys want to know what those plants are and how I managed to care for my more dramatic plants. But if you're looking for something easy, these are the plants that I would recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next week.